Okay, well, um, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to this, our uh, ninth uh, annual symposium um, on the theme of magnetoencephalography and uh, its applications to cognitive neuroscience. Uh, I'm Charles Jennings from the McGovern Institute, and so on behalf of, the, of my co-organizers, uh, Bob Desimone, Demetrius Pantasis, and uh, Matty Hamalainen, uh, who's somewhere in the audience from uh, MGH, I'd like to... Uh, uh, there, there you are, Matty. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to, uh, to this, uh, this uh, exciting event. Um, special welcome to all of our speakers. I know many of you have traveled a long distance to be here, um, in some cases uh, across, the, uh, across the Atlantic. So uh, thanks very much to all of you. Um, also a special thanks to our uh, sponsors, um, Steve Otto and Jim Petit from Electa and uh, Carsten Bach from uh, Vacuum Schmelz. As, uh, as I think most of you know, we've recently set up a meg lab here at MIT and um, Electa supplied the uh, scanner and Vacuum Schmelz built the shielded room. So um, we're very grateful to you both for sponsoring this event and for, um, for all your uh, support over the last several years in helping us uh, get up and running with uh, Meg at, uh, here at MIT. I should say up and running again with Meg here at MIT because as, as you've seen from the program, we will be honoring David Cohen uh, later, later in the day for his... Uh, and uh, here, here is David. Uh, <laughs> we have a round of applause now or we can save it for later. But uh, in any case... Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> Without whom none of this will be happening, so thank you. Thank you. Um, a couple of housekeeping uh, comments before I introduce uh, Bob to get the scientific proceedings underway. Um, so the, we have a busy, busy program. Um, I think the schedule should be as printed in your, uh, in your programs. Uh, we will be providing lunch and refreshments throughout the day. Um, you'll need a name tag in order to get your lunch. Um, we'll be... Um, will be a webcast or we will be um, uh, videoing the, the symposium. Uh, we're using that to beam live into the atrium and the overflow room. Um, we will be um, publishing the uh, videos on the web with one or two exceptions. I know a couple of speakers have asked us not to, uh, not to do that, but we'll honor, that, honor their requests. But uh, most of the talks will be, will be on the web, so your Q&As will also be live. So um, your comments will enter the permanent digital record of humanity along with your Facebook postings, so uh, just so you know you're on record here. Um, we, have, uh, we have posters, as, as you know, we're very grateful to the poster presenters, there are about 20 of them I think. I would encourage all of the poster presenters to make a point of being at your posters at the beginning of the lunch break so that people can come and identify you and, uh, and, and start the conversation. So uh, grab some food and then go and stand by them for a few minutes to give people an opportunity to find you. Um, anybody who would like to see our Meg Lab would be very welcome to do that. We'll have, we can have a little bit of time during the lunch break. Um, what I would suggest is if you can identify yourselves to either myself or to Demetrius Pantas. Demetrius, could you stand so that people know who you are? This is Demetrius, who runs our Meg Lab here, co-organizer. Um, come and let one of us know, and we can estimate the numbers, and we'll plan to gather probably around uh, 1 o'clock, which will give us maybe 20 minutes or so to take a, take a peek at it. Um, uh, what else should I tell you? Lunch posters. Um, I know many of you are... Uh, also planning to uh, participate in the workshop tomorrow. Um, Sylvain and uh, Francois are here, so we're very grateful to them for organizing it. Um, they have asked that participants at the workshop should come to the laptop clinic, which will be set up, set up in the atrium during the, during the breaks today. Bring your laptop so that you can check your software and systems and make sure that everything runs smoothly. There's a lot of people at that uh, workshop, and things will be much faster tomorrow morning if you, can, uh, if you can see them today. So I think there's a table set up somewhere in the atrium over by the McGovern Seminar Room. I think it'll be clear. Marked, so um, watch out for that if you're planning to participate. Um, I think that's it from me. So uh, thanks again, everybody, and I'll hand it over to Bob Desimone, director of the McGovern Institute, to get us underway. Oh, Bob. Uh, yes, I just mentioned posters. Yeah, yeah, po yeah. Again, posters. Uh, please be at your posters uh, as soon as you grab your food. Oh, uh, I'm so, uh, sorry, Bob. Uh, there is, yeah. <laughs> there is one, one more thing. Um, so, uh, we're, we're, so it's 45 minutes from speaker to speaker, but that, that needs to include Q&A time, and we do encourage you to ask questions. Uh, the, the room is, is, is mic'd now. You see the suspended microphones, so you don't need to uh, floating mic. Um, 
but uh, speakers, please stay on time. We will be, uh, a yellow light will come on at 35 minutes, the red light will come on at 40 minutes, and uh, we'll pull all the wires out uh, <laughs> after that, and uh, so that'll allow us to stay on schedule and allow time for your questions, which we're looking forward to. Thanks. So, uh, welcome everyone. The, uh, I have to say, the registration for this event has exceeded our wildest expectations. I believe it exceeds uh, the most popular previous event that we had, which was on sex in the brain. And, and the idea that Meg is more popular than sex, I think, tells you that we have a lot of people here who believe in the importance of, of timing in the brain. <laughs> Uh, and I, I hope we, we don't disappoint you. Um, the, uh, uh, I know many of you he are here from, uh, from foreign countries, and uh, just to let you know how things work, in the U.S., uh, to, ha to even have a MEG center like this uh, requires contributions from many sources of individuals and foundations that uh, are believers in what we're trying to accomplish. And we've had uh, some individuals and foundations that step forward uh, to make the, uh, the MEG facility here uh, possible. Uh, Tom Peterson, Ted Poitras were individuals, made major contributions to the Pet Center, the Simons Foundation, uh, and uh, anonymous uh, donor has made it all uh, possible in addition to a grant uh, from, uh, from NSF. Uh, so we go around with our tin cup and we collect all the, the resources that are, uh, that, are, that are needed. And as Charles mentioned, Electa and VAC are supporters of this symposium. Uh, and we all owe them all a great uh, debt of uh, gratitude. The, the, Meg, our, the new MEG Center here uh, becomes now part of our Martinos Imaging Center. Uh, many of you have heard of the Martinos Image Center at MGH. Uh, we are sort of sister uh, institutions. Um, Bruce Rosen is the overall head of the uh, Martinos Center, and, um, and here at, at MIT, uh, we, we benefit a, a, a tremendous amount from our collaborations with colleagues over at, uh, at MGH. Uh, Matty Hemelainen has been incredibly helpful to us in getting the, uh, the MEG Center established here. And again, we owe them all a great uh, debt of uh, gratitude. Uh, the, the MEG uh, facility that's, uh, that's headed by Demetrius uh, joins a facility that al already has uh, MRI and, and EEG and, of course, uh, MEG is not an alternative to MRI or, or EEG, but it's a, it's a tremendous supplement, and we're all really excited about the uh, potential that it offers us. I'm relatively new to the MEG field uh, myself. I have a postdoctoral fellow who's working in MEG and is presenting a poster in the, uh, in the poster session, and uh, it's been my impression that whereas the, uh, the analytical techniques for analyzing data in MRI and EEG are relatively mature. Uh, it's less so in MEG. There's, there's many more opportunities. And, and, and to, to a certain extent, people working in the MEG field are sort of all pioneers in, uh, in, uh, in developing techniques for understanding the data, improving our ability to extract things uh, from the data. And our speakers here today, many of them are have been pioneers in the development of analytical techniques for MEG. And then pioneers in applying MEG to important problems. And that's really the goal of having um, this symposium here, is to introduce people to this new, uh, for, for us, uh, new approach, to introduce you to some of the people that are really pushing the field forward, both on, the, on how to uh, analyze uh, MEG data and then how to apply uh, MEG to, uh, to important problems. A really exciting program that Demetrius and Charles uh, put together. We're all uh, looking forward, and thanks, thank you for coming. So I'll, I'll now turn this over to uh, Demetrius, who will introduce the, uh, the morning speakers.